Hi, happy Friday. It's Keto Grant. I'm getting ready to make me a smoothie. And I just wanted to show you some of the things that I use when I'm making a smoothie. This one today, I am going to be adding in a little bit of my MCT oil too. But the ingredients that I'm going to use are right here. I'm going to turn my camera around just a moment. So here are the items that I'm going to be using to make my smoothie. I'm going to be using um, the berry medley. And this is something that just makes it easier for you to um, get your berries. And I'm using a medley of berries. So I'm using blueberries, uh, blackberries, raspberries, and strawberry mixture of the berry medley. And I'm going to be using a half a cup of these berries. Um, a half a cup is... Let's see, half, half, 17, what's half of that? Anyway, so there's the reading there on the back. Anyway, I'm going to be using a half a cup of these berries, um, about a half a cup of the silk almond, maybe a little bit more. Um, so I've already got that measured out. I'm also going to be putting in a little bit of MCT oil, no more. About a tablespoon, a couple tablespoons, I mean teaspoons, a couple of teaspoons, but no more than a tablespoon is what I use. I'll be adding in just a little bit of ground cinnamon to that. And some people like to add sweetener. I don't add sweetener to mine, so I have that sitting over to the side, but I did want to show you that to let you know that you do have that option. So, here in my little cup, I have blended, I have already added my berries and i've added in spinach also forgot to say i'm using spinach but you can use as much as you like i'd say that's a, about a cup maybe just a little bit over a cup of spinach and to that i am going to add my milk so to that i'm probably going to add some cubes of uh ice also and i'm going to add a um, teaspoon of my mct oil and just a little bit of my ground cinnamon so let me add those things in. So here's my cinnamon. And I'll just put a little bit of that in there. Cinnamon is good. I'm uh, trying to control my blood pressure. So I'm adding a little bit of cinnamon in. Going to add a little bit of MCT oil, like I said, just a te teaspoon or so. I'm going to add a bunch of that in. Depends on what you're trying to do. So here I'm adding in my teaspoon of MCT oil. And I'm going to add in some cubes of ice and a little bit more of the vanilla, uh, the silk almond milk. I believe I'm going to just use a cup. Okay, so I'm going to mix this up. I'm going to cut it off because it's going to be really loud. Yeah. Okay, so I'm done. I'm going to go ahead and take this off. Anyway, there is my smoothie that I have. It's hard to do this with one hand, but I think I got it. Okay, so I'm taking this off. And you can see there's the smoothie. Let me flip my camera. Okay, so I'm done with my smoothie, and I'm going to go ahead and taste this just to see if I need to add some sweetener. To me, it tastes great like this. So this is my smoothie. This has potassium. This has a lot of good vitamins and nutrients in it. Smoothies can help you, you know, reach um, your vegetable goal. You can put your vegetables um, and other good stuff into your smoothies. And also, this will help you, like I said, reach your macros. So that's just some of the things that you can do um, that are you know, that will be good for you, beneficial for you, um, lots of antioxidants, and also you can put, like I said, your MCT oil, if you like, into your smoothies. It's very beneficial also. If you have had a cheat day, um, it pays to have a spinach smoothie or a spinach berry smoothie and put you some MCT oil in there, and this will help you to get back into ketosis much faster. 
So that's just one of my little keto tips that I wanted to share with you. Um, to date, I've lost well over 127 pounds doing keto, and I've been able to keep most of the weight off. Um, at least 115 pounds of it. I did gain a little bit back, but I have been back on the keto journey and losing that. So, you can do it. You can do it too. Not such, not such a big appetite today, but I still did try to maintain my calories. For breaking my fast, I had asparagus, um, some oxtails with sriracha sauce, and a stuffed mushroom. It was so good. A stuffed uh, portobello mushroom. And then for my dinner, I had a keto hamburger or keto cheeseburger along with some mashed avocado and a sugar-free jello. All right, see you later.